Hey everybody! Hello gorgeous! How are you doing today? It's lunchtime. Yay! Yay for lunch! I thought we would knock out this last Timu bag during lunch. Now you're probably not going to watch this until tonight because although I got a little time to film it, I don't have time to upload it and check it or and blah blah blah. So let's just jump right to it. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Doreen. Hey, Doreen. Hey, girl. How you doing? Okay. Occasionally, people will leave comments and say, can I have a shout out? And there you go. There's my shout out. I would have shouted it louder, but my mom's downstairs and I don't want to make a lot of noise. All right. Let's get in this bag. Ready? Have I forgotten anything? Hello. Oh, the H. Oh, it's just the, oh Lord, that's going to fall down. Let's see how long that sign stays up, shall we? Because it looks a little slanty right now. Oh, I'm scared to touch it. It's going to fall. It's going to fall. Oh Lord. Okay, stop. The first thing in here, I didn't know this was going to be a tin sign, even though it flat out says, Vintage metal tin sign. I guess I just ignored that part and saw the part that said, your anxiety is lying to you. Now I need to have this sign floating in front of my face everywhere I go. Um, um, that's me pausing just to say, think, well, yeah, I have a lot of problems with anxiety these days and I have a lot of um, just neurotic fears about things that probably aren't even true. Meaning, <laughs> like I'm really neurotic about my job. I Because I've been laid off twice from two jobs, like in big company layoffs, not just me. That's not just a euphemism for like a nice, I'm trying to get this open. That's not just a euphemism for like a nice way of getting fired. I've been laid off in big company layoffs twice and I'm always like, it's caused some kind of, seriously, some kind of like job PTSD. Like I just feel like there's no job that's secure, which is kind of true actually. There's no promise in any job, but these days I'm feeling it again. Like, oh gosh, what if I, probably cause I'm spending so much money is probably why, not spending so much, but more than I usually would is probably why I'm feeling a little bit like, Oh, spending tons of money and who knows what if this job disappears and that kind of thing. So anyway, I, there's a lot of anxiety in my life right now, but sometimes my anxiety is lying to me. So I, but I just never know what to do with these tin signs. I thought this was a canvas one and I was going to hang it somewhere right where I could see it. Like the moment I woke up. Or something or over there or I don't know on my closet door yeah that'd be a good place I could still put them up it's just tin signs are kind of interesting but I paid 448 for that and that was a long explanation for that okay do we have things that are still in this order before I I was all about the inspirational motivational signs I got another sign now this is the kind of sign you would find at Dollar Tree How's the, speaking of signs, how's the Hello Gorgeous that's just slapped up there with three M dots doing? Ooh, it's a little slanty. Now the H is not going out. When I look at it, it's bright. It's just the angle. Oh wait, it's just the angle of the H that makes it look like the H is going out. So, well, now it's going, it's kind of pulsating, isn't it? Or is it just me? Just forget it and move on with it. Before you speak, think, is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? Is it kind? I like this philosophy. Now, I don't know, you know, I want it, got this to put on my desk at work, but once again, I'm gonna be that, that annoying person in the office who's got all this inspirational, pardon my French, crap all over their desks. And meanwhile, is having an internal existential existential crisis, nervous breakdown. But I'm tr I'm trying. But anyway, I like this sign. But this is the kind of thing you would see at Dollar Tree. And I paid, holy crikey, I paid five seventy nine for it. Five seventy nine for this thing. That's ridiculous. 
That's ridiculously expensive. What else is in here before I'm... Okay, this thing I thought was funny. If I can get to it, it's at the bottom. But as long as I have this order pulled up, I'm trying to get everything that was in this order out of this order. You know what? I'm not going to be able to get this out. Let's just move on to the next thing and I'll pull up the order for it. The next thing is a sweatshirt. Now, unlike other sweatshirts, this feels like a real sweatshirt, at least from the outside. From the inside, it feels a little spongy is how I'm going to, but it does have a little bit of fleece on the inside of it. And it is, I got it in XL for a change. And it's just a, a sweatshirt with a happy face on it. I don't know. Although, this looks like a decal that just got slapped on there a second ago before they mailed it. Like, this is going to come off and, like, wash this. Well, I'm talking to myself. I'm going to have to wash this, of course, inside out because you guys see how shiny that is. I don't know if I can, but it really does look like someone just stuck this sticker on here and then called it a day. Smiley face sweatshirt. What did I pay for that? I paid. Your anxiety is lying to you. I paid. I only paid. I only paid $9.89 only. I paid $9.89 for that. Woman's casual long sleeve, blah, blah, blah. All right, well, I'm ready for the winter or the fall or whatever. Okay, and this shirt is falling off. I'm wearing that. I just threw it on this morning. Didn't even wash it first. All the chemicals soaking in my skin. But I'm wearing that. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um, everything's fine. I've got a little cami on under it because it keeps, well, that's not it. Yeah, because it keeps falling down. I need to stop buying t-shirts that I'm going to wear to work in such big sizes. Uh, this is not from Timu. This is from a guy on YouTube named Mark Bajerski. And he makes, um, this is a Herkimer diamond. This is Moldavite. And this is a Tektite. He makes nice um uh, crystal-y jewelry, and I'm still wearing these earrings that I've been wearing for like 10 days in a row, and nothing too exciting going on with that. The next thing I got is this pink. Now, it says women's street, si street style denim jacket, and it's a pink denim jacket. I got it purposefully in 2XL because I wanted to wear it big and baggy over, oh wow, okay, well it really is decent denim. It is distressed and I wanted to wear it and it snaps. Does it snap? Oh no, it buttons. I almost yanked it. Some things I can't do with long fingernails too. Unbutton things, button things, open cans peel off backings of stickers. I'm learning that these nails, although they are lovely, they make life hard. I I don't like, I like my natural nails with just gel coating on them, you guys. That's what I've decided about myself. But meanwhile, I keep buying nails from Timu. And now my new thing is going to be buying nails from Walgreens because I really love these Olivia and June nails they are twelve dollars a thing now the only thing i don't really like about this jacket is there really is a full-on like they went a little nuts with the distressing in the back stop it <laughs> they went a little nuts with the that was a some spammer calling me they went a little nuts with the distressing in the back and like I could live without this hole back here. Like I can't wear that to work. I was gonna wear this to work over leggings and like a white t-shirt and I could have gotten away with the front but I don't think I can get away with the back. There are two holes, three holes, four holes. Holy cow, holy cow, there are holes. 
So that's kind of annoying, but it might be cute on the weekends. $16.19 and it got refunded and now it is $18.47. So it looks cute on the model. Oh, it does have holes in the picture. I need to learn to look at things closely. I just really didn't know they would go nuts with the holes all over it. Model, Their models are always wearing, well, someone told me it's just one model and they Photoshop all the clothes on it on the one same picture because I'm like, their models are always wearing cropped white tops under these things. Okay, what I was trying to get out of this bag, this is ridiculous, but I think it's funny because I'm just crude like that. This is a toilet paper holder shelf that looks like a Polaroid. <laughs> that looks like a Polaroid camera. Oh, I'll show you my diamond painting. I'll show you my light board. A lot of people left comments uh, that, and they were upset that I didn't show the light board so they could see what size it was. Oh my gosh, all these tools. Okay, well, here's where you put the toilet paper. Oh gosh, there are nails. Oh no. Nails. Well, what did I think was going to hold it to the wall? Magic? I don't know. Yeah, I thought magic. Magic was going to hold it to the wall. Instructions? Crap. All right, get out. It's called Polo Roll. And it... It's 1128 and it hangs like this over your roll of toilet paper. <laughs> I can't believe I'm showing you guys this. Smile for a thumbnail. Cheesy. Everybody say cheesy. All right, that was a horrible smile. Cheese. I don't know. Where's the roller thing? Okay, here's some adhesive in case you do want to try to stick it on the wall. <laughs> like I always do. In case you're the stick on the wall type instead of actually using a good old fashioned hammer and nails. Now you guys, oh here. Okay, so the roll of, so this goes over the toilet paper. So this goes up in here. Right here. Hold on, I'm going to put this in here. Gosh darn it, why did I hear the Shakira on the way home? And now I'm stuck on my hips, don't lie. Oh my gosh, speaking of hips, I got to tell you this ice cream story. Okay, so the roll of toilet paper goes up in here. And then when you pull the toilet paper out, it looks like it's coming out of the Polaroid camera. It's really dumb. It's dumb. As uh, like this. Am I really going to put that out? It's going to clash with my mermaid theme in there. Big time. But it's funny. Here's a better picture of it. <laughs> okay. That was 11, well, 1128. I paid 998 for it. Now it is 1128. So, okay, there's that. Just down here with the rest of the trash. Get the trash bag going. The next thing in here is just a pair of pliers for me to fix uh, some jewelry with jewelry with and they are just you know simple jewelry repair pliers and they are 372 what are they now now they're sold out i'll hit notify me but there's like a billion uh jewelry repair rep repair pliers on Timu. so it, just because these are sold out doesn't mean there aren't like 9,000 more. Okay, what else? What else? What else? More fingernails. These are... I need my glasses to see what kind of fingernails I got. These are lavender, like galaxy... Put it. Marvelish. 
kind of just simple. They're just the kind of nails I like, which are not too jazzy or anything. And they are $1.38. Oh, and I got a partial refund. Now they're out of stock. Well, I paid $1.38 for them. Then next I got some really crude Christmas cards because my family is just really crude like that. And, um, well, they're just funny Christmas cards. They are the 12 days of Christmas with funny pictures, but some of them, like the Nutcracker, is a little, cr or a little crude. But, like, I don't, I don't want to untie them. I'll untie them. Oh, I accidentally tied it in a knot. Well, that was dumb. I'm going to cut them. I'm going to cut them open. I'll put them back in this bag. If you'd like to get a crude Christmas card from me. I'm just kidding. I can't. I have, like, I get so many emails. I couldn't imagine if I said that. Five gold rings. It's like a meerkat singing at the top of its lungs. Oops. Um... Partridge in a pear tree, wrong tree mate. He's on a bonsai tree. See, they're just funny. They're, I'm scared I'm going to show something really crude. The lo 10 Lords of Leaping. I put pins on their seats. They're just little jokes. Eight Maids of Milking. Except the cat saying Jan, Jane. That's a bowl. That's tacky. <laughs> okay, anyway. 11 pipers piping. And they're all piping a cake and eating frosting. So they're kind of funny. They're funny. There are a few that are really crude. Like the nutcracker. There's a nutcracker one with a nut. One nutcracker kicking another nutcracker between the legs. <laughs> I can't. Let me try to find it. I can't find it. Anyway, I thought those were funny to give to family and close friends. And those Christmas cards, the 12 days of Christmas, were $4.49. And this item has been discontinued. What I've noticed is when an item is discontinued, that means sometimes that it was blatantly ripped off from a small business or artist. And that's why it's discontinued and not sold out sometimes. Sometimes that's the case. In which case I feel bad if that's, if that's the case with this because I would have preferred to, of course, give the artist my money. This is a Band-Aid sticker or no it should be a magnet you guys because it's supposed to go on the side of my hoopty as a joke of course it should only it could only or a decal maybe it's a plastic decal that won't take off the paint I've, i drive kind of a hoopty and this is funny to put over some of the flaws in it but it's not as big as i thought it would be i thought this was going to be a big car size band-aid but it's not all right oh what did i pay for that band-aid sticker i paid my hands are shaking stop shaking hands stop shaking i've been drinking every morning i drink coffee and then i drink monster energy drinks see because of the picture is why i should have looked at the dimensions i paid 348 and Oh, you get two of them, and here's the picture, and I totally thought it was going to be that big. Why does Timu do that with pictures, you guys? Like, Four calling birds, three French hens. Now I'm stuck on that song. All right, what else is in here? This is something that now I really don't... So... I made the mistake, you know, of when I first started diamond painting, before I really got to know the, what you needed, I just got really enthusiastic and bought all the, like, 
just all the diamond painting stuff, you know, that you could buy for diamond. Where are my scissors? That you could buy for diamond painting and this diamond painting. Now look, this is annoying. I can't find my scissors. Have I been using them at all? Yes, I use them to open this bag. And then speaking of diamond painting, don't let me forget to show you my light board right now. Oh, dear. Two turtle doves. Well, I don't know. I'm, oh, here are my scissors. Gosh. I feel like Elmer Fudd sometimes. Like, just absent-minded. And I can't get this open with these nails. So, I'm going to have to cut this. So, this diamond... This is another... So, I made the mistake of just buying all these diamond painting supplies without realizing that I don't really need a lot of them, but this is not lipstick. This is diamond painting sticky stuff that you dip your little tool in to put the little diamonds on your painting. But I'm, it would be a really pretty lipstick and it would be a really pretty color. So that is a shame. What did I pay for this diamond painting th lipstick thing? I paid. No, oh, I had other. I had some people tell me that I just suck as a hauler, and like they're not my. I deleted the comments. I usually don't delete comments, but I just didn't want to look at that. I didn't want that comment polluting my page. But they were just like, "Oh my gosh, you're the worst. You don't have the prices. You take too long. You blah blah blah." Like they just, eh. $2.48 for diamond painting drill mud. Okay, it's called mud tubular lipstick clay for easy cross stitching in DIY projects. So you dip your little thing in the lip. That's a shame. I would hate to mess up the beautiful lipstick shape. Okay, we should be almost done. This is, these are earrings that I really should put, put in. Like not, I really need to change my earrings. It's got to be unsanitary, too, to just run around with the same earrings on. But these are ice cream cones with sparkles on them. They're really cute. In fact, they would look really cute right now. Maybe I'll wear them. Maybe I'll wear them. Oh, light board. I'll show you my light board as soon as I tell you how much these cost and put them in my ears. Put them in my ears. Put them in my ears. They must be these. $2.18. This out. They Are they heavy though? Oh, they might be heavy. Wait a minute. Here's something else I can't do with long nails. Get earrings out. Forget it. My nails are too long to crack those open. Anyway, I really love them. They're cute. They're whimsical. I would really only wear them on like a casual day or something, but they're really fun. I'm, I'm worried that they're going to be a little heavy. Okay, next up. I think it, is this the last thing? More earrings, and these are gorgeous, colorful rhinestone Christmas trees. I'm going to have to cut this one too. And then light board. Don't forget it. Don't forget the light board. It's right behind me. But okay, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas trees, how lovely are your diamonds? Nice. They're cute. They're cute for Christmas time. Okay, I'm all ready for Christmas. I've got Christmas cards, Christmas earrings. Is there anything else in here? Spin it around, shake it upside down. Seriously? No? Okay. Cool. All right, light board. Here is the size of the light board that I bought. And as you can see, it can fit my 40 by what is it? 40 by 40 centimeter, 30 by 30 centimeter thing that I'm working on. Cat painting that I'm working on. I got the roses done 
and I haven't tried it yet. And it comes with this, where's the stand? Where did I put the stand? Mm. So it's about yay big. Oops. <laughs> That's nice. Loki's going to jump on that and just... Loki's downstairs with my mom. Loki's gotten really attached to my mom. Now look, I put the stand together just to show you guys. And now, and then I set the stand down. And now it's buried under a bunch of Timu junk that I just hauled. Is it right here somewhere? I give up, you guys. I give up, you guys. That's my tripod. The minute I log off. Oh, I bet it's under all these sweatshirts. This sweatshirt and this jacket. Yeah, it is. Okay, I was going to say. So it comes with this stand that you prop it up on. And the stand can go down a cup. It can go, oh, it can break. Not really. The stand, you just put it together. It's really kind of cheap. It keeps falling apart. And so it comes with this little stand. And the stand opens to different angles. So you can, like that, one, two, three three it's supposed to have three angles two I don't know one maybe it only has two angles I don't know maybe it only goes like this or it goes like this any more no so there you go there's my light stand all right 26 minutes and 30 now what time is it 12 41 I got to get back to work. I got to get back to work. Um, the Christmas tree earrings were $158. And they are still $158. Did I tell you that? Ice cream earrings, $248. Okay. All right. Well, I'm excited. I've got a toilet paper holder that I have to put together now. And hello, gorgeous. Stayed up through the whole video. That's amazing. All right, I will see you guys later. Tomorrow I've got a review, um, a line of skincare, which will be interesting. Please watch and um, just say cool skincare bra or something like that. I don't know. Or maybe my robot is coming. Well, I still have to review this skincare. I think I said I'd re 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 bleh, review it within seven days of getting the product. So I need to do that. I got that product day before yesterday. All right. I hope you guys are having a good morning, afternoon, or night whenever you're watching this. And I love and appreciate all of you so much. I want to thank everybody who hits the like button, who comments, who endures the ads. And um, that really helps me a lot. And people who leave super thanks. Thank you so much. I got one today and, I was, <laughs> and it made me happy. And people who just watch and support this channel by watching and subscribing. Don't forget to subscribe, turn your notification bell on, and then you'll know whenever I upload a video, you don't have to check every day. I read so many comments that say, I check every day to see if you've uploaded a video. You don't have to if you will subscribe and then take your note, turn on that notification bell so you get all notifications, then you'll always know. All right, should I pause? I need to pose one more time. Where's my anxiety sign? I need to pose one more time for a thumbnail. I didn't get it. I didn't do enough thumbnail posing. Oh no. See, this thing is all bent. I can't get this dent out. All right, just hold it so you don't see the dent. Well, you know what, Timu? I shouldn't hold it so you don't see the dent. I should just let everybody know. Hey, everybody, Timu's stuff is dented. Okay. Cheesy. Hello. It's cheesy. Cheesy thumbnail time. Your anxiety is lying to you. Okay. Hopefully there's some kind of thumbnail in there. Bye, buddy. How do I stop this thing?